What's up guys, it's Squatchy10 here and welcome back to my channel and today we have a pretty special video because we are at Wedgworth State Park, New York and it's like the Grand Canyon of the East or no, West? It's, oh, we're East, so it's the Grand Canyon of the East and behind me, I'm looking, we are looking over a enormous dam that is the Mount Morris Dam. It's, yeah, it's just, the only way you can describe it is enormous, so. Absolutely or mega. Insane. Or yeah. mega. <laughs> so basically we're going to be taking a trip for my brother's birthday around the park. And uh, I'm going to be filming along the way. So hope you guys enjoy. Uh, guys, this is absolutely insane. I don't know how to zoom in because this is a new video app, but whatever. It's huge. There's no water really flowing through it on this side, but uh, it's absolutely incredible. Here's another angle of it. It's enormous. Hey, Will. Hey, guys, everybody say happy birthday to Will down in the comments below because it's Hi. his birthday, so. Yeah. Guys, this is the perfect Bigfoot habitat. If I were Bigfoot, I'd stay here because no one would be able to see you. Did you trip over it? Yeah. Very dense in here and it's fairly close to roads, so. It can uh, cover Bigfoot's noise pretty well, and you can blend in amazingly. Like, there's ones that have hair that looks like grass on them. Some may just look like stumps while sitting down. So, I mean, they're very hard to miss. We just saw a deer run out of the woods, so we're thinking there could be a baby fawn right here. I can't zoom in. Can I? I don't know how to zoom in. But there should be a fawn. It's probably right back in there behind Yeah, there. somewhere over there. It may have. So cool. Okay, so we are now at the falls. Uh, it's very loud, so I don't know if you can hear me, but it's huge. Like, absolutely enormous. Here, you should get a good shot. It's incredible. This is truly incredible, and you can even see a rainbow right here. Wow. Hey guys, uh, before we go, we're gonna check out uh, the Mary Jameson house and statue. And if you don't know who she is, she's basically, um, her parents were and her were captured by a Native American tribe and her parents were killed by them, but she was held captive and basically grew up with the Indians. And uh, she was pretty iconic here. So let's check her out. So right here is the statue. Dad, is this Mary Jameson or is this um, her in the, there's a baby on her back behind her. I'm not sure which one it is. She's the one who's the big statue, right? Or yeah, is she the baby? Yeah, no, I think she's the statue itself. These aren't the longhouses, right? These are the, just the, where are these for? Oh no, these are Native American houses. Let's take a look at this, this is pretty cool. All right, see? It says, this log house, which originally stood at the Guardian Flats by Genesee River, was built about 1800 by Mary Jemison. 
the white woman of the Janus City. For her second daughter, Nancy, in a nearby cabin also built by her, she lived about 35 years. She lived 78 years of her life as a captive and adopted member of the Senecas, during which the time she became the wife of Chief Huikatu and gained great influence on their councils. So, this is one house, but the other one's right there. It's like working here. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. This is incredible. Wow. That's really cool. Whoops. So, this is the mud chimney. It says, it says, far, something pioneer stick and mud chimney. There's a little caption. And if I will get it to focus not on the fencing, there's a stairwell right there. Those are stairs. Those are, says, Pioneer Log Letter made by John Shanks, Seneca Indian, about 1872. And then this is the original door from Mary Jemison's cabin in the Gardeau Flats. This is really cool, guys. Quite the adventure, huh? I wonder what's upstairs. We can't really look, though, so... So this is the Seneca Council, this ancient Seneca Council, house stood at the Goetiu, Canacadia on the Genesee River in days and antedating the American Revolution. All right, it in it gathered the war parties that devastated the frontiers, and before it, their helpless prisoners ran the gauntlet. Around its council fires sat famous warriors and chiefs. For its preservation, it was carefully re removed to its present location by William Pryor. Bletchworth Inn was rededicated October 1000. October 1st. Or, oh, okay. <laughs> October 1st, 1872, by the last Indian Council in the Genesee. Um, okay. So we're going to come in here and. Whoa. That is cool. Wow. That's absolutely incredible the uh, fireplace their chimney looks like and right there they have bars on the windows and you can see bars on the windows here too that's really cool wow and last not least, but not least uh, we have a little pavilion or gazebo yeah Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And we will see you in the next adventure. Um, if you ever get the chance to, definitely come visit Letchworth State Park, New York. It's one of the greatest I've ever seen. And uh, it's it's a great park, but just stay where you can stay. Don't go out, of, out past the fence and stuff because, you know, bad things can happen. But just stay safe and uh, enjoy your adventures.